Hi, this is Bree, and I am doing my very first recording of a nail art tutorial. You can see my blog at nailsbybree.blogspot.com, and um, any tutorials I do on here, I'm also going to get still pictures of and get loaded up over there. So, with no further ado, uh, we are going to do a really fun and Conad inspired manicure today with uh, fish scales or dragon scales in a uh, almost an albino pattern with a shimmery undertone. I think you can see on that finger relatively well the difference between the pinks and the green. It's incredible in the sunlight, but even in the dark you get just a little bit of extra shimmer to it. So this is what we're going to work on today. Um, and as you can see, I have my right hand already done. On my left hand, I have this prepped with two coats of Sally Hampton Insta Dry number 115 in a flash. That's those triangular bottles. They go on sale on um, a lot of times just periodically at any place like Kroger or um, Walgreens or CVS. I don't know what you've got in your area, but they do go on sale periodically. And they also, Sally Hansen runs a lot of Peely specials, which is really, really cool. All right, so I've got two coats of that. It is already completely dry, which doesn't take very long with the Insta Dry. And now we start the pattern that's going to go on top of this. As you can see, there's already some shimmer to this base, but it's kind of a white, pearless shimmer. It doesn't have the green and the pink, which is what we're going to add in afterwards. So, what I have found to be easier is, before we bother doing the colors on top, is to go ahead and get the pattern in. And I have a bottle of Conad Special Polish in white. This is a really good white. You can use other whites, but Conad Polish is the way to go if you were not positive what you're doing. Go ahead and spend the money, get a bottle of black, a bottle of white, and it's fantastic. I have several of the actual Conad plates, but I've actually also just gotten um, the Mash Nails set, and this is set two. Um, it's about $13 from eBay, and it has some fantastic designs, and today I'm going to be using this fish scale pattern right here. So you get everything ready, you have your scraper and your plate. You're going to need your transfer tool, and you just lay your plate down, put some special polish onto it. You do not need to cover the entire thing. The act of scraping it off is going to move that paint away from where you need it. So put some on the top half, scrape down, push straight down, make sure you have it lined up the way you want it to go, and right across. And that actually did not transfer very well, so apparently I need to not hold my hand sideways. But for the purposes of this, I'm not going to bother redoing it. I'm just going to continue on, so I'll show one more, and I'm going to go off screen while I'm putting it on. And that way, maybe it won't end up all sideways and broken. So, scrape. And make sure your stamper's wiped off. You don't have big clumps left. And push straight down to stamp. Make sure it gathered and it did. So let's do the pinky this time. And there's my scales. Yay! All right, and I'm gonna stop filming and finish off the rest of my nails here. And thanks to stop motion magic, we are back. And I have scaled patterns on all of my nails now. And what we're going to do at this point is I have some watered down best glue ever. This stuff really is the best glue ever. And that's even what it's called. Best glue ever right there, which you can get from scrapperfect.com. And the really cool thing about this is you can use it to attach anything to anything else for the most part. Uh, it's mostly for paper crafts, things like that. But it dries tacky instead of hard, which for what we're doing is absolutely essential. So I have some best glue ever just uh, put out onto a little, um, like a, I have a cup lid right here. Uh, plastic palette, and I added a couple drops of water and make it mixed it about 50 50. And I'm going to brush this over my entire nail surface right over the top of those designs that I just did. And I haven't um, done a top coat or anything like that yet. That's going to be to seal everything in when we're done. But in the meantime, we're just going to go right over the top. And you can see it looks white and it's kind of milky because I wanted this to be relatively thin. If I wanted it to be really, really thick and very tacky, I would go ahead and go full strength, but I don't need it to be all that sticky for what we're going to do, because we just need to get some shimmer to stick to it. And it also seems to dry just a little bit quicker when it is watered down, probably just from the water evaporating. 
Um, but even when it is full strength, it dries relatively quickly. So this isn't to sit there and wait for 30 minutes while you get that all taken care of. It's only about two to three minutes. So make sure I'm in frame here and get my glue across the top of all my nails. And it is water soluble, so I have just a basic, I got a uh, brush set from a craft store of a whole bunch of the smaller style paint brushes. And this one is just a relatively flat brush, and you can see this one's relatively small um, and thin, and this works beautifully for full coverage across the nail. And when I'm done, I just rinse it in my typical rinse water. And because I have a very lightly white base um, on my nails already, it makes it a little bit harder to see, but if I had a different color, you would be able to see that what I just got brushed on is a bright white, and it dries clear. Um, so we'll be able to see little bits of the pools are brighter white, and I'm going to wait until they're completely clear. So while I'm waiting on those to dry, I'm going to explain the next step. And what we're going to do is I have some pigments, and a pigment is ground up powder, powders, um, and your eyeshadow or blush and all of that are, are pigments, but usually those have been compressed into little blocks, and these are loose pigments. And I have some Perlex pigments. There's a lot of different brands out there. You can even use uh, blush, eyeshadow, anything like that. Um, but Perlex has really good, high-quality pigments. They're not super, super cheap, but they're good stuff. You can find them on Amazon and eBay and in, in your Michaels and your craft stores, things like that. Um, and rather than having pure pigmented color, this is just everything is colors, these are the interference line of colors which you can see it looks white, doesn't look like there's anything to it, but if I can catch the light just right, you can see that shines gold, and this one shines green, and this one shines purple. And these are the three colors that I'm going to be putting on top of my cream base coat color, and these are just called Interference Gold, Interference Green, and Interference uh, Violet. I believe it's Violet. Yeah. If I can find the right bottle. Yes. And so these are your interference colors, and the different brands of pigments have different things that they call it. But most brands of pigments have a color like this. There's not very much color to it, but the shimmer, you get a whole different look. And that is what we're wanting today, to give the reflective shine on top of the scales. And it is looking like, at this point, my... Uh, best glue ever on my nails is pretty much dry. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my three bottles of pigment and rather than doing a single color on each nail I'm going to kind of mix them um, a little touch on different nails and I'm probably going to do two colors per nail. I might do all three if I get crazy. So I have my bottles open. Be careful not to sneeze on this stuff. It will go everywhere. It is a giant mess so be very very careful and expect to have little bitty teeny bits of glitter. It's going to happen it's not that bad. You might want to, like, you know, hide it from your husbands, though, ladies, because they do kind of get grumpy when they come home and suddenly they have sparkly, glittery socks. Apparently they got made fun of or something. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, so what I have, my order here is I've got, just so I know what order, I've got violet and then my green and then my gold. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with my violet. And I have a fluffy fan brush, and this is from another set of just random brushes. I don't even know where these came from. Look at this. Doo -doo -doo. Westwater Enterprise. This was probably a Walmart find at some point. I've had it for years, but this is just a really big fluffy brush, and it holds on to glitter beautifully. So I dip it in, And just pick up some in the end, and then I'm going to tap off the excess because I really don't want just a whole, whole ton. So that's probably plenty for what I'm going to be doing. You can see there's a good amount on the end there. And again, a little bit goes a long way. It's glitter. This is how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and start brushing on in dabs on the, the base of my nail and the side of a different nail. And because that best glue ever is tacky, it's going to pull it off the brush and stick it to the top of the glue. So I'm just tapping the different spots on the different nails, so they're all going to have a slightly different color shimmer to them. Or they, they, the same three colors, but in different spots on the nail. Alright, that's enough of the violet. So I'm 
gonna go ahead and cap that one and get it out of the way and move on to my green and try to hit some in a different spot and last time I got it on the right here so I'm gonna get the left see some a little bit you can just tell okay there's some green picking up but it's going to show up a lot more once it's super thin and most of the excess has been tapped off and finally I'm going to go in with the gold and that'll get the third of, uh, I roughly broke this into um, three sections, and so this will be covering up the third section. Just so that the entire nail has some pigment sticking to it. And they're all going to reflect in different spots of light, are going to pick up different colors. Alright, and right now my nails are all powdery, and I haven't brushed them all off. So, I'm going to tap them off. carefully look away so that I don't get stuff everywhere and blow off the excess and as I turn my fingers I'm not sure what how much is picking up in the light right now and on the camera but I can distinctly see different sections are picking up different shades green and gold and the violet like here you can tell the violet on the tip and then the green and the gold as it turns around and they just shimmer different shades as the different spots catch the light and it ends up looking not unlike the iridescence of fish scales under the water on an albino fish which is just cool all right and to get this to stick around because this is a water-based glue and if you left it just like this it would be gorgeous and sparkly and the first time you washed your hands it would be gone so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it to keep it safe until the next time I change my nails off and for top coat I use Seche Vite and this is some really good stuff and you cannot get this everywhere I know that there are certain countries where there is some ingredient that has questionable um, things about it. I think Canada, for one, you cannot get Seshvit. It is available in America. Um, I get mine from Sally Beauty Supply. I think Walmart and Walgreens are even carrying it right now. Um, or Amazon or eBay. Or I do a lot of online shopping. It's kind of convenient and you can get it delivered right to your door. But this is really good stuff. It dries beautifully fast and it gives a good solid thick coat that just doesn't chip and doesn't crack and very rarely bubbles. I'm not going to say never, but if you apply it carefully, it does not tend to bubble. The My major complaint I've ever had about Seshvit, and it's just something that it, I've kind of gotten used to, my nails can get really oily. And my skin isn't, but my nails apparently are. And I can wear polish for about three days. And typically, it's just bubbling and cracking and flaking off, and it drives me nuts. With Seshvit, my nail polish doesn't flake off, the entire nail just, it will, the, the whole thing will peel off, and it looks like I had a fake nail and pulled the whole nail off. Well, it's just the nail polish. But this stuff works by bonding all three layers together. It dries fast, it dries perfectly clear, and with a gorgeous shimmery coat that shows all the color underneath, and yeah. So I love this stuff. If you can get it in your area, this is what a lot of the nail pros seem to like to use. And if you can't, I'm very sorry, but I um, don't have any other ones that I'm able to sing their praises that I've got a whole lot of experience with. But I know that there are a lot of good coats out there. I would say just check in your area if you can't find it. Ask around and see what you've got. And here is the finished look. We have albino fish scales with rainbow shimmers in the light. And I hope this showed up because with the fading sunlight that I have coming in through my window, I know a lot of it is not going to catch up, but um, that was it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask any that you've got. Thanks a bunch, and have a great day, everybody. Have fun playing with your nails. And once again, this is Bree, and you can find my stuff on nailsbybree.blogspot.com.